All right, what's up? So someone asked me how long it took me to draw this from my last video uh, in my sketchbook, and I had it sped up, so I'm gonna go ahead and show the, the regular footage on this, and I'm using a Beak mechanical pencil at 0.7 millimeter. Link is in the description for that, as well as this sketchbook I'm using, which is a Sterling, uh, I think I got it at Barnes and Nobles, and it's um, kind of like a thick, uh, medium weight um, vellum finish, so it's pretty cool. Uh, it's 8.5 by 11 inches. I think it's pretty useful. Anyway, so uh, here is the uh, real-time footage of the, the sketch that I did in the, in the video of the faces, but um, yeah, I mean, the total time was about 10 minutes, and I figured I'd just show this and uh, for those who are interested. Now, um, this is, as I mentioned, one thing that I do when I warm up, and someone also mentioned, like, hey, well, I thought you did a video about warming up and it was drawing hands, and I'm like, well, yeah, I still do that as well, and there's so many different ways to warm up, but I figured, you know, this is just one thing that I like to add um, when I'm doing... Uh, you know, or just just to have like a pool. Well, let's say a tool bag of different things you can do, and um, uh, as a warm up, right? And so right here, you saw me smudge the the page a little bit uh, where the shadow areas were, and from there you could sort of carve into it with your pencil. And um, the default lead for this is um, you know HB, I believe, and it gets pretty dark, especially on this paper. And somebody had mentioned that when you smudge on other kinds of paper, it gets kind of uh, hard to erase as well as just you know not very um, you know uh, the, the texture might be too uh, too much right now in this case the vellum has a pretty smooth finish so when you smudge it kind of um, it's easier to erase and easier to control um, and that's kind of what you see me doing here yeah and uh, someone had also asked if I was you know using uh, reference or are these just out of your imagination and if so how long does it take to be able to draw faces like this from imagination and to answer that yeah these are all from imagination well it's hard to it's more of a discovery thing it's not like I have a very specific face or head in mind but I'll put some marks down and uh, put the eyes and the nose and the mouth in certain areas and I know that by shifting the parameters of where you put them you can uh, make a face so I think that comes from a lot of drawing and uh, I often uh, tell people, you know, if you really want to get good at faces, you know, don't spend time just doing one drawing of a face over like a, the span of, you know, a, a week or a month or whatever. You'll learn a lot from that, but I think if you really want to get good at, especially coming up with them out of your imagination or, uh, you know, just kind of discovery like I'm doing here, uh, you have to draw hundreds of faces. Just grab a sketchbook and fill it up with faces. You know, you could, you could look at references, nothing wrong with that. Um, I, I certainly did, and I broke down... Um, different uh, t types of faces, different races, and uh, the same way I did in my lips tutorial and my eye tutorial, where you can sort of draw a wireframe and figure out what the different um, actual forms are doing. So uh, I did that for a while, and now I'm at a point where I could just kind of make up faces. And of course, I still use reference um, when I want inspiration, and it's perfectly okay. There's absolutely nothing wrong with uh, using reference and even all the masters Norman Rockwell John Singer Sargent they're looking at something even uh, JC Lion Decker it's not like they're making those things up you know uh, so that's that's sort of to answer that and I do find myself drawing on paper a lot more these days there's something uh, appealing about the analog of it where it's not really um, I don't know I think I respect the paper in a weird way, whereas like a digital thing I can easily undo or erase or manipulate. Um, but something about this makes it in front of you and tangible and, uh, uh, you know, it being tangible kind of adds more um, value in, in a sense. So uh, something about it is, is more fun. But I, I, obviously I still draw digitally, but, um, you know, for the time being, doing some sketches. By the way, uh, if you're following me on Twitter, I'm trying to be more active on that. I, I did post some sketches and stuff there, talking about silly things like grocery shopping, whatever. I don't know. I'm I, I'm really late on the Twitter game, but figuring that stuff out. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, you saw me erase there just just now, and I think um, it's just like painting. I'm treating this like a painting where I'm putting down values, contour, and treating the eraser like it's a white brush, like right, you know. It, uh, a lot of people will <laughs> kind of pride themselves in saying like, oh, I did this without erasing. I'm, I'm like, cool, why? Who cares, right? I mean, in this case, it's just another tool in your, in your tool belt of, you know, coming up with uh, an illusion on paper. And that's, that's really, really all there is to it, right? 
Um, what else can I kind of t say about this? Um, yeah, going back to filling up a whole sketchbook. If you really want to go beast mode and, and like spend one week just, just really getting good at faces and, and heads, just uh, grab some reference, do some um, studies, uh, and like, you know, get a stack of paper or, or a sketchbook and tell yourself, okay, in seven days, I'm going to fill this up with horrible drawings of, of faces, but at least I'm going to do it. And my first uh, pass at that, obviously, is not as good as what it would be now, right? So uh, get in there, put in the mileage, and you'll, you'll, uh, you'll definitely learn things on the way. And, and the key is, there's so many things that I could probably point to and, and make suggestions of, but they're, they're just things that you'll actually just discover on your own. You'll have little ooh and aha moments, and that's kind of uh, one of the greatest, I'd say, skills you can have in, in art because you'll be able to sort of teach yourself by, by just putting in the mileage, right? Instead of depending on somebody uh, kind of holding your hand and saying, well, look at this, look at that, which is certainly good. You should always have a mentor um, it's one way or another that you're learning from, whether it's a book or a channel or whatever, right? Uh, but, you know, uh, teach, being able to learn on your own is, is a huge overlooked skill. And so see how much you can learn that way even if it looks bad and you know it should look bad like why would you expect your first you know 20 pages to be amazing masterpieces like there's no way right so um, in this by the way to add to that in the same way that I uh, in the previous video I was talking about lighting how you can light different forms and shadows and coarse shadows will happen in a different way um, it's the same thing with heads essentially they're just eggs right or like a sphere they, they tend to be more round um, if you understand how light uh, affects um, spheres and like a ball, it'll uh, be pretty effective, right? And so uh, again, there, there you see me um, carving in with some um, contour, and it's like the smudge, the smudge technique sort of blurs everything. So once you blur everything and you draw on top of it with uh, sharp contour, all the attention goes to wherever it is that you're putting it. Uh, and that's kind of a way to sort of control the focal point of whatever it is that you're drawing. Like make everything blurry and then make a few things um, you know, sharp, right? And in this case I decided to actually add some facial hair, like a little mustache um, on, on this guy. Kind of like, a, like an old gentleman. He sort of walks around with a pipe in his mouth and whatever. So, you know, that's kind of fun. Yeah, so it adds personality to your characters if you can do the voices uh, as you're drawing. Uh, I go crazy. I don't record all that, but sometimes I, I talk out loud. And, uh, yeah. Um, but that's um, pretty much all I have to say on this. I think, I think it's something that um, I wish somebody was showing me when I was uh, learning to draw. But, yeah, it's, it's, you know, I'm just out of things to say. But luckily the video's almost over. I guess I could just drag it out. How are you doing? How, how's life? Yeah, that's great. I got seriously. I got nothing. Um, I guess I could talk about what's happening here. I'm doing a little background on there, just shading it in, um, putting a uh, contrast around where I want it to be, especially on the highlights of the forehead and the nose. Um, and it, it acts like a sort of uh, framing device or a cinematic thing. It's like, it's like graphic design behind the, the actual drawing. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll definitely have more videos very soon. Pretty excited about life, about drawing, about art these days. And I, I don't know if you've uh, kind of followed my whole journey. Um, you know that I've kind of gone through a lot of struggles here and there, but I'm at, at this kind of like uh, upward kind of uh, direction. It feels awesome, so really happy to be there. And I'm really excited to show you all the other stuff that I've been working on, but. Yeah, all right, uh, tune in for the uh, next videos, and um, again, thank you for watching. Really glad that you're all sticking around and all that stuff, so. All right, see you next time.